careful. Georgie. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Um, yes, please. You look like a nice boy. I bet you have a lot of friends. Three, but my brother's my best ass. Where is he? In bed, sick. I bet I could cheer him up. I'll give him a balloon. Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Pennywise? Yes, meet Georgie. Georgie, meet Pennywise. <laughs> now we aren't strangers, are we? What are you doing in the sewer? The storm blew me away. Blew the whole circus away. <laughs> Can you smell the circus, Georgie? There's peanuts, cotton candy, hot dogs, and... Popcorn? Popcorn! Is that your favorite? Uh-huh. I do! <laughs> because they pop. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I should get going now. Oh. Without your bow? You don't want to lose it, Georgie. Bill's gonna kill you. My grandfather thinks this town is cursed. He says that all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing, an evil thing that feeds off the people of Derry. But it can't be one thing. We all saw something different. Maybe. Or maybe it knows what scares us most, and that's what we see. I, I, I saw a leper. He, he was like a walking infection. But you didn't because it isn't real. None of this is. None of this makes any sense. They're all like bad dreams. I don't think so. I know the difference between a, a bad dream and real life, okay? We're all afraid of something. You got that right. All right, Rich. What are you afraid of? Clowns. My grandfather thinks this town is cursed. That all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing. An evil thing. Creating Pennywise with Bill Skarsgård was very fulfilling. He's unpredictable and it was something that got my attention immediately.
I wanted to create something unsettling. Here, take it. This feeling that you never know what's going to happen when the clown's around. Bill, if you will come with me, we'll float too. language and the madness in his look was completely unnerving. Andy successfully kept Bill Pennywise away from the kids as long as possible. We wanted to keep him away because we wanted the reaction to be real. It is authentic to how kids should be reacting and that was one of Andy's things in terms of scaring the kids, having them not know what our Pennywise is going to look like. Look, that's where it lives. <gasps> the first time we saw him all together was the projector scene. What happened? No. It got our real reactions. I was so freaked out. It was terrifying. He's just so sporadic. You don't know what he's gonna do. When he's up close in your face screaming at you, it's insane. Like a demonic animal. Bill Skarsgård is Pennywise. He did us all proud. Having Stephen King's seal of approval, it's amazing. So I do hope that fans will feel the same way. Kids have a wider perspective. They see more, they believe more, they notice more. And in it, I wanted to create characters who still believe everything children believe and yet not. These kids no longer believe in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy, but then when the lights are out, they're still afraid that there's something under the bed. This is not your standard horror movie. It's a movie that deals with friendship and the power of confronting darkness together. Our characters we all have certain things about ourselves that ostracize us from the rest of the town. They were all bullied. So the Losers Club formed and we're like a huge family. You fall in love with the characters and you really feel close to them. Hanging out with us makes you a loser too. I can take that. Which makes it even more scarier when these really bad things start happening to them. I saw something. There was this... The clown. Yeah, I saw him too. The losers figure out something's been haunting the town. They start searching for friends, but you start to realize that they're searching for something much bigger. There's not like any town I've ever been in before. People die or disappear six times the national average. We realize that all of the murders in Derry, all of the missing children are all connected. Look, that's where it lives. <gasps> it is anything that you are ever afraid of. What happened? This story is a great parable for what happens when we don't confront our fears. It's summer. We're supposed to be having fun. No offense, Bill, but I don't want to go missing either. Those kids are the only people able to battle this creature because they're the only ones who still believe in monsters. What happens when another Georgie goes missing? Or one of us? Are you just gonna pretend it isn't happening like everyone else in this town? 
We have to go on a mission to fight against evil and secure our friendship. This is what it wants. It wants to divide us. It shows how when we come together, we can really do things. If we stick together, all of us will win. It's a beautiful story of friendship, but this is a Stephen King adaptation, so it's pretty terrifying.